and doing all this research, I went to jam for them to print this research. And so this girl won her money and uh, they say she cheated in her exam. So she took an exam, a general exam in, in Nigeria and she scored a very high score and she was awarded with about 3 million naira. I'm talking about 2500 to $3,000. And then when people scanned her results to cross-check it on the website, which is Jam website, they found out that it's showing another person's details. So uh, it turned out that they accused her of forging her results. All right. Even though the investigation is still on. So now she has come out to debunk it, say that she believes she actually scored that result, that all her life she has been top of the class. She says she's, since nursery school, she has been top of the class. And when she went to check her results, that was what they gave her. But then when people now went back to check, it's now showing somebody else's results. So she's suspecting that the software system that is printing result is mi making mistakes you know so but what it reminds us is that knowledge is not paper that result she's printing is not her knowledge her knowledge is inside her mind they can't take it away no software system can take away the knowledge you have in your mind so your school some people i tell them to start something great in life and they tell me they never went to school man fuck school man they <laughs> shock you do you understand? School is just to teach you how to think. If you are waiting for that certificate, forget it. There are many people with that certificate that are not successful in life. There was a time that um, a rich man in Nigeria um, get, put out a job application for drivers, truck drivers. They said over how many PhD holders applied. Many PhD to be truck driver. Do you understand? So it's not about school. or pe School is not about paper. It's knowledge. Is teaching you how to think. After you graduate, you figure out what to think. You know what I'm saying? Do you understand? So every stage of school teaches you how to think at every different stage. But what to think is up to you. So if you can eventually figure out what to think, then you really don't need school. There are musicians we know. You, can, you know the examples. There are musicians in Nigeria that left their career to go back to school to get a degree by the time they came back from that degree their career is dead <laughs> now they are looking for job there are musicians that left their career to go to canada you know to get a job and by the time they go to canada their career is dead do you understand so just know that school is for you to learn how to think see i, I have two degrees right the first time i was passing through the university i passed in i passed through twice I was memorizing things like if the exam is coming, I can stand like this, memorize everything they thought. And I'll, I'll walk into the exam hall like this, pouring down the questions, you know, so I had a good result. But when I graduated, I realized that I could only recall about 10 to 15 percent of what I learned in school. It was like I wasted the time, like, like I'm somebody that likes to tell myself the truth, you know, I graduated, but I wasn't really a professional. So when I got the opportunity to get back to school and get a second degree, my mindset was totally different. I was like, when they are teaching something, I'll be like, let me really, really understand what this lecturer is saying. You know, to hell with the exams. To hell with the test. I want to really understand what is this really? How does it really apply in real life? I'll be in class and I'll be on Wikipedia page scanning through the concept the lecturer is teaching so that I can get a better idea. I will leave the concept when I get back to my room. I will start googling who first discovered it, the scientists that discovered it, what were the conditions around what happened that prompted that. You understand? So by the time I, I realized the problem you was trying to solve, the concept makes more sense. You will see that the mathematics the, the formulas, the derivation, everything makes more and it becomes easier to remember. Because what? I ignored the exams. I was like, I want to understand this. Do you understand what I'm saying? What is it used for in real life? Where are they applying it? It was a whole different mindset altogether. And till today, I can tell you about 90% of what they taught in school. I can still remember it very well. Second time, just because of a different mindset.
So when you're studying anything, come down and say, I really, really want to understand what this is about. You know, there are people that will sign up for my course. They'll be like, after two minutes, they'll come back. Where do I press to download money? <laughs> oh, guy, you're not serious. <laughs> you're not serious. When you're serious, you will come down and say, okay, let me take this course and really understand what it's about. It's only when you really understand it that the magic will happen because your brain is a synthesis machine. It will just take that and synthesize it with the rest of the experience you already have. And the result it's going to provide for you will be amazing. Nobody can generate that kind of result because nobody has your exact unique experience in life. But you must first understand the knowledge at the root level from first principles. So this lady, I have no doubt in my mind that she would do well in life. If she's really the owner of that result, forget it. This is just a minor setback for her. Even if they cancel her result, anywhere she goes in life, she will still be 10 times as successful because the success is her nature, you know? So think about your life too. How you, you, things you've learned that you forgot in school, you know? It's time to take a different approach to learning things. When you sign up for a course, when you sign up for something in the university, don't just take it to pass the exams. Put your mind down and say, what is this really about? You know, let me really learn this. That's the only time you actually acquire that knowledge.